and see the bacon the you rabbi from another planet please like share and subscribe and ring the little bell ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop i i was gonna take the day off okay i was gonna take the day off i was really tired <laughs> i've been really genuinely i was exhausted i've been working on this indiegogo uh uh, uh non-stop if you new to my channel you have no idea what i'm talking about never mind you just stick around you're working out uh uh and uh i was up in the middle of the night come nice like, my wife had this thing going on with the oh i think they think it's gout but it's not real i don't know weird stuff going on there uh uh and then last night it rained right it rained it's uh, uh september 24th and it rained and you know the israeli electrical supply went oh my god rain what the hell was that and the power went out right and that woke me up so i was up and so basically i returned from synagogue this morning and uh, uh, uh i was just excited i want to go back to bed uh, and i did i was like you know what i'm, I'm just gonna take the day off then i woke up and i felt guilty <laughs> so here we are uh, uh, so i thought i'd do a quick quick news uh news roundup this quote again amazes me for as little interest as there is about doctor who uh, uh, and there really isn't. It's, it's really waning. I think it'll, it'll, it'll per perk up again in November when the, when the show's coming back, which is when I think it is coming back. Uh, then, uh, 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 you know, there'll be more, more stuff to talk about. But really, it, 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 they, they, we had the big announcement that uh, uh, Chibnall and Whitaker are leaving. Oh, happy day. Much rejoicing in fandom. If you like them, I apologise. <laughs> I really don't. I really, really don't at all. Uh, uh, but things, things, things have died down a bit. Then there's a whole bunch of new stuff. Just came out yesterday. Uh, and a few things, bits and bobs that I've been wanting want to get to. Uh, fine, so we're going to do a, a kind of a news warp. I'm not sure. I really, this might be a five minute video. We'll find out. We'll find out. Who knows or dares to dream? Uh, hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit the subscribe button. If, if that's the sort of things you like to do. You know, even if it's not the sort of things you like to do. Could you do it anyway? That that would be very, very nice. Uh, uh, I do very much appreciate that. Like, say, subscribe, comment. Uh, I will try and get to the comments later because uh, um, that's the kind of guy I am. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and just generally, you know, uh, live your best life. You know, that's probably the best thing. Live your best life. You know, all those things are good. Uh, uh, oh, you know what? Also, check out Indiegogo. Yeah, I've been, saying, I've been working on something Indiegogo. I think we're going to close this on uh, on uh, when the Bond movie comes out, like September 30th. I think that, that I think we're, 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 we're going to close it a week today. Uh, here, it's over here. Doink. Go check it out. Link in the video notes. Uh, yeah, that I, I think at that point, is it'll, it'll certainly go into print. And we're just waiting now. I've finally got through to the printer and said, uh, uh, how much they're doing my fulfillment? They're, they're, they're shipping everybody, everybody's stuff out, uh, apart from the, in the US. Man, I'm paying, paying a ton of money getting John Mayne to uh, uh, do a fulfillment in the US. I just really like the way he does it. So, you know, that's what's going on there. Uh, 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 I'm just waiting for him to send the address to, to send the US orders to and the uh, um, the printer to give me a bill for mailing out all the, uh, fulfilling the uh, uh, the orders. But basically, it's closed. They're ready to go to awesome comic books you know i've been plugging it like crazy uh looking forward to moving on quite frankly uh biblical bible stories great, stress, stress, growth. great book can't wait for you to see it i'm really so excited for you guys to read this uh and the imperium i love letter to early fans in the 96s uh of course you get all the, all the extras i'm giving everybody a ton of extra so yeah but, yeah we broke 9500 so i've decided that the standard tier the standard tier where you get um uh both books you will you you get a bunch of extras you're getting uh, uh you're getting three posters now Right, yeah, uh, and if you already bought these posters, you're, you're getting extra posters. You're gonna get, uh, um, you know, uh, the, uh, the Noble Savages, uh, Bohemian and Time and Space, and The Eyes Have It. Everyone's getting that. With those two books, everybody gets that. Uh, if you already ordered them, uh, uh, then you will, we, we have these two posters as well. Uh, the Great Balls of Fire, and finally, Forever Young. Uh, Forever Young is uh, 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 the fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane growing all together. Uh, we're just giving away. Okay, <laughs> if you already ordered so we, I want to make it so. You know, you, you, everybody does well out there. And again, of course, you have the four of the male gaze cards, uh, uh, which <laughs> I'm excited about seeing my comics. I'm excited about seeing these. These are uh, uh, all A6. Oh, Perry, a bit uh, zoomed in. Uh, let me just uh, uh, go out there a little bit. Thank you very much, Perry. Uh, nice shoes you got there, darling. Well done. Uh, 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 don't even think it said as in party like it's 19.99 and uh, uh, keeping the British end up. There you go. There you go. Check all this out uh, uh, in the video. But first, let's look at this uh, uh, this first uh, news item, which is a Reddit leak, which are notoriously bad, right? They're notoriously uh, not accurate. Um, I, is this one real? It sound, it's got this. It's got the feeling of reality to me, right? It's got that feeling like this sounds like uh, it sounds feasible. Uh, I'll go that fast. Let's read this thing. Uh, the end of thirteen and Cardiff. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, 
Things are wrapping up here in Cardiff, and I don't just mean for the BBC centenary special. Doctor Who will no longer be filmed in Wales. Now, this was a rumour going about three, four months ago uh, that, it'll be, that it, it, it will be moving to, uh, was it a Warner studio, I believe, outside of London? Um, if it indeed continues, I don't think they're in a rush to continue. Well, it's not they're in a rush. I think uh, I, I think they feel it needs a bit of a, a breather. Um, there's certainly people in the BBC who feel like, no, it's day is done. Listen, it's had a 13 year run. It's the ratings are in the toilet. It's over. Maybe 20 years we'll see it again. But right now, it's day is done. It's a bit regressive. We tried to make it more uh, uh, inclusive, but nobody liked it. So, ew, icky, icky British public. We better stop doing that. We don't. We're not into that here at the BBC, giving people what they want. Oh no, none of that. Um, so I. I I don't think it's coming back, right? I don't think it's coming back unless they get a perfect storm of, of uh, uh, you know, people making the show and uh, people and the people running the BBC uh, aligned, much like they did in two thousand and four. And that took, I'll remind you, it took a good. Uh, well, the ninety six movie was a big, a big hope, but like, it, it, I think it took a good seven or so years uh, for that to coalesce to get Russell Lee Davis in. And right, he didn't want to go. He was like, eh, it's just going to be something at midnight on BBC Four or something. Uh, uh, he wanted it to be a main, uh, uh, like a main mainstream thing. And he, he was absolutely right. And that's how he made it. Anyway, so there were... Uh, um uh, Doctor Who not going to be fil filmed in Wales. I've just been released my position working at Roth uh, Lock for the final time. So th this is the horrible truth of go woke, go broke. Go woke, go broke. Yeah, it's an expression we use, right? But the, the horrible truth is it means that people are, are out of work. People lose their jobs. People lose a lot of it. I mean, we saw that with, uh, uh, who was it, Kelly Sue DeConnick recently. Uh, she's very famous. She was, she was a writer of Captain Marvel, which is a title that never, ever worked. You know, they, they kept trying to tell us, oh, no, yeah, freaking love Captain Marvel. She's one of the most popular characters in the uh, Marvel Universe. You love it. And nobody liked it. They rebooted it over and over and over again. And it always failed, right? And it just always, always, always failed. Uh, 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 and then so, and she got a bit, a bit, uh, uh, a bit annoyed with people saying, you know, you keep writing crap and we're not interested in, like, your relentless political diatribes. Yeah, you know, you're putting in the mouth of the red skull. We're not, we're not that into it, right? And she's like, <laughs> well, if you don't like my politics, don't buy my comics. So people didn't. They they went woke, they went broke, and now they go, oh, oh, it's, it's looking bad. In the weirdest interview I've ever seen, it's her and her husband Matt Fraction uh, um, looking like they absolutely hate each other, right? They looking like they absolutely genuinely detest one another uh uh you go check out the interview it's, it's quite quite amusing but anyway yeah go work go broke means people stores close it's, it's over yeah so um i i, I wonder if the uh, the rough lock facility will continue i mean doctor who was really kind of one of the main things that kept it going uh, I've been there for 12 amazing years. Uh, none of our team have been informed of who's taking over the show because nobody knows, right? Nobody knows. All we know is going to be filmed in England. So it, it sounds like if this is real, that they're just saying uh, that's something that they were probably just said to be fobbed off with, right? It's. Uh, 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 I doubt that it's being. Um, I, uh, honestly, I doubt that 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 is that is continuing, right? I doubt that it'll be. Uh, um, uh, I mean, maybe in a few years, but yeah, I doubt it. So, uh, so I have some spoiling information. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I thought I would share, uh, since most, li uh, since I most likely won't get to get trace and I'm not going to get a slap on the wrist, uh, 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 if I do, uh, since I'm no longer on set. Series 13 plot can concludes with, uh, with those six episodes. So it's, that's, you know, one, one story, six episodes. Are they dropping on one day? Are they going to uh, stripe it over a week? I, I, over uh, six weeks? I'm really hoping it's going to be so epically bad it becomes like the thing. It becomes like Crossroads. Like, people like people watch it and go, how bad is it? Like, it's, uh, it's, uh, maybe they get the ratings up that way. That'll be, that, that, see, that'll be a bit of uh, bitter irony now, wouldn't it? Um, the Centurion special uh, had, has the same budget, the 50th anniversary special. Uh, and is there a replacement for the 60th? Uh, for, uh, because production will not begin for two years. Uh, another two years. I, I think that's the best case scenario, right? Absolutely best case scenario. They've had a year to find people. Yep, the good luck there. Um, 
Listen, they might be be eye moving to movies, right? The the the, the movie rights revert to the BBC. A Matt Smith, Karen Gillan movie written by Stephen Moffat would do well. Would do well. Uh, get Danny Boyle to direct it. Whoa! Yeah, that'd be huge, right? That would be huge. Um, uh, so it was a, a new series being production for two years. Jodie Whittaker's final scenes will not include a re regeneration. She's going to be Doctor Who forever, right? Because they don't know when it's coming back. And this, I believe, I totally believe Chris Chibnall would a hundred, a hundred percent do that, right? I think that's the way to give the middle finger to the fans. I think they'll absolutely do that. And the Normans won't care who aren't watching anyway, right? They've all been, I, I think they've been fired. I think there's some uh, 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 animosity, right? Uh, the show is going to be re uh, rebooted. And from what I've heard, there's no longer going to be a, continu a continuous series. So that means they're going to be like do specials every few years, maybe. Uh, is, is is that the way to go? I don't know because you got to look at international sales. Like like uh, that doesn't seem like an appeal to like a Netflix or a, a Disney Plus or you know one of these streaming services. The crew wrote Ralph Locker, honestly the best in the UK industry, uh, and this is a massive blow to all those who work there on the show since two thousand four. Go work, go broke. It's essay a gen It's not just saying to make yourself feel better when they've ruined time that you've liked. It's uh, it's a lament. Go work, go broke. These people are, are, are their their lives have changed. Unfortunately, uh, some will continue with the show at uh, at its new base, but its uh, a high majority will no longer be uh, going to be employed by the BBC. If there's a BBC, so then he goes on to say he thinks he did a great job. We think the content you're about to get from November twenty one. Uh, so oh, saying this show is going to drop in the season thirty, going to drop in November till October twenty two. Some of the best uh, telly BBC has to offer. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 really, that's not a high recommendation now, is it? No, no. Um, let's tell you, BBC has to offer. Um, we have been working our asses off, and the cast are genuinely great people, uh, so please uh, don't give them too much stick. Uh, it's not, if it's not your thing, it really isn't, but like, I, I, I you know, the, 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 the terrible job they've done, I think, does invite somewhat of of a commentary like if here's the thing if people like me are making stuff up uh, uh yeah that's bull crap you know uh, uh don't do that there's the, but there's no need <laughs> there's no need to make anything up it's genuinely awful and genuinely failed um uh john bishop is probably the nicest guy in show business also chris general is the best show we've worked with uh, i've heard other people say this about it people who actually know him personally he's the nicest guy ever my guess is he's nice to people he knows he has to be nice to, right? I think he's one of those people. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's just genuinely a nice person. Uh, no ego, just down to earth. When he says no ego, he probably doesn't know how to like tell people to do anything. Because he's like, oh no, that, person, that person's got black skin and I'm a white man. Ooh, ooh, I can't impress him. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to be oppressive. Oh, shit. Um... His writing, his writing may be naff at points. No, the points where it is naff are they're, they're the high points, right? <laughs> Everything else is pretty bad. Uh, but he is a gentleman and doesn't deserve the stick he gets. I think he does, quite frankly. I really think he does. Uh, I think, honestly, I don't think he'll deserve the stick he, get, he, got, uh, he gets if he was like John Nathan Turner and leaned into it and dealt with it and was actually genuine about it, right? I don't think he would deserve the stick he gets then. Uh, but he doesn't. He they got this like weird Pravda like attitude of like everything is awesome. No, it's the greatest ever. We're doing so good. We're doing so good. Uh, we're, we're fired and being cancelled, but we're doing so good, so good. Um, I think uh, I think series thirteen uh, will be his redemption. Well, I think he's hoping that. Listen, uh, I, I just I can't imagine Jodie Whittaker being good, but like uh, maybe uh, I just find it unlikely. Uh, hopefully fans will get, uh, we'll see how lucky they are to have him in the cast. I doubt it. I, uh, as a fan of the show since 1996, I'm proud to have worked on this huge hit. It's not a hit. It was a uh, dismal failure. We all hope we did it justice. Well, listen, uh, uh, um, probably. Uh, 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 and we hope the next scene will have a great time as we did. I, I keep saying, oh, we had a great time. Like it's uh, Like it means something. Who gives a crap that you're having a good time, right? Who gives a crap that you're having a good time? Nobody, right? Nobody. Uh, next, we're going to have a quick look over at Bleeding Cool. This is uh, 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 
just insane, right? Just absolutely insane. Um, hit, and so Doctor Who, BBC Spotlight, Jodie Whittaker, Doctor Who, uh, Doctor in Series 12 video. You want to hide that, mate. You want to stuff that under the counter and make sure nobody sees it whatsoever. Because it's um so the bbc in their in their insanity release uh the best of 12 compilation of uh compilation video of youtube of the uh of on the show's official youtube channel uh there have been many highlights in series 12 uh, uh indeed the chief among them was the new master played by sasha the one he was uh, he had enthusiasm for the role we'll, we'll say that uh, we were due to, uh, we were due a, a new master since he, uh, he always comes back. Uh, every doctor has to face off with a master sooner or later. Duana has previously uh, played Warris Hussein, who thinks this is garbage, by the way. <laughs> but uh, never mind. There's from the original episode back in the 63 episode of Adventure Time and Space. Fine. Duana's master felt like a direct follow up from John Sim. I mean, he's. Okay, what was. So I don't understand. Like, why, like, why are you telling us this? We, we all saw it. Dance Master Sim, him. Uh, me, impishly misses, petulant, uh, petly spiteful, both uh, desperate and and scorning love. Sounds more like the meddling monk, quite frankly, uh, and uh, murderously insane. He and Jodie Whittaker felt like two people who uh, uh, grew up together as kids, but fell out uh, and still can't quit one another. No, Jodie, nothing, nothing. Nothing feels uh, authentic about Jodie Whittaker. The show has also brought back the master's tendency to murder people by squishing them into action figures, which is uh, hilarious, uh, hilarious, especially uh, uh, given Duan's, uh, with Duan's glee that uh, when he does it to someone. Yeah, I mean, again, I like the, the glee he played the role with, but basically it was garbage, right? Uh, virtually everyone, uh, every single Duan's master... Uh, should be considered a highlight of the season, uh, and even all of them might not fill up. Uh, 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 and even all of them might not fill up a half hour. Okay. The other highlights included uh, the real Joe Martin as a lost rogue doctor from the Doctor's past. Awful idea. Kudos to Christian for pulling it off. He didn't pull it off without anybody knowing. The only reason he pulled it off with nobody knowing. Nobody gives a shit. Okay. That's where we are, with Doctor. Who. Nobody gives a shit. Right. Uh, he managed to take. Uh, the pressure off the question of when a woman of colour uh, can become a doctor. Okay, only insane people. Only insane people have pressure around that, uh, around that question. Um, the only downs, uh, the only downside is we'll uh, we'll probably never see Martin's doctor take over uh, over the show and have her own adventures and the companions and story arcs. That's what they should have gone with. Yeah, they, this season thirteen, they should have just. Ignored Jodie Whittaker whatsoever, brought in Paul, uh, Paul Cornell as the head writer, and done delightful adventures in time and space with, with Joe Martin's Doctor. And then at, on your last episode, tie it all together. Tie it up, bring in Jodie Whittaker, uh, uh, sort everything out, uh, uh, and wrap everything up. And then you could claim victory. That's what they should have done, but they're, they're not clever. Um, anyway, uh, sorry, Alex. Uh, it's notable that none of the Commanders' so popular subplots, it's also so, so popular, were included in the highlights because it's very boring, the highlight compilation, uh, because they were not highlights by any strength of the imagination. And this guy is essentially sucking Chris Jimmel's cock, and even he's saying, uh, that, that wasn't very good. Uh, um, Doctor Who should, uh, should really be about the Doctor and science fiction situations that they get into. Uh, what, okay, he's just gone off on a diss on the current series. This is how bad it is, right? Even when you try and support it. Um, uh, when they get into the social commentary and the, uh, and the Doctor's place in the story, uh, at least whoever cut this video together knew, knew that. Onwards and upwards to the 13th season. Well, it, 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 it logically should be upwards, but... I doubt it will be. And finally, finally, we have this. Oh, no, not finally over here. we got uh, Dan Stevens. Uh, not Dan Stevens. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it'd be nice. It was John Bishop playing Dan, whatever his name is. I wouldn't swap it for anything. So the, this is such a puff piece, right? It's basically him just going, um, I'll just read the quote. Uh, Bishop signed off from filming, uh, uh, having, uh, 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 after seemingly having a better time than, uh, uh, even he expected, and that has been absolutely brilliant. And he felt he wouldn't have swapped it for anything. Uh, is that over here? Turn the sound up. We, I guess we'll listen to it, right? I mean, why not? Uh, doink. Yeah. See? Well, um, that's a wrap. That's the last day. Free at last!
last, free at last, run, baby, run. Doctor Who completed. Um, I'm just leaving the lot now. Um, Going back to my real job. Okay, now I've, I've, I found something to fill in when I couldn't work. Uh, uh, great, very good. Um, nearly a year of my life, and I wasn't expecting to do it at all, and it's been absolutely brilliant. I wouldn't have swapped it for anything. I know you haven't seen it yet, uh, but honestly, it's been amazing. Everyone's been great. I'm so grateful to them. And I've also got loads of great material from it. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen. I do think, I do think that if this if this show is as yeah, epically bad as it appears to, as it appears it's going to be, right? This is this is going to be comedy gold. Bit of comedy gold for uh, uh, John Bishop. And finally, this weird little article from Looper, right? This little thing uh, the other day uh, from two years ago. Matt Smith would return to Doctor Who under one condition. Okay, and I would love to see him return again. Uh, uh, this okay. How do I how do I cancel this thing? I, what? I don't even know what they're trying to sell me. This is a little bit intuitive, Looper. Not intuitive. In, uh, what is it? Intrusive. Oh, wait. I think over here. No? How about this? How do I clean, clear this off? Okay, fine. We're going to read this through a tiny sliver. Pain the ass this is. Okay. Uh, in the 58th... Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Here's the little X. Oh. Yeah, no. I, I don't want to see it because it's in the way. Oh, go away. In the 58 years, uh, year history of Doctor Who, no Doctor has ever returned to the beloved sci-fi series of taking the final back. What? And regenerating? What? Have you never seen the five Doctors? Or the three Doctors? Or, or, or uh, uh, Day of the Doctor? Or, or What? Okay, whatever. Well, that could change that. Jodie Whittaker has announced that departure from Doctor Oh, she, he said he'll come back. Oh, this is bollocks. Dude, dude, not in the not in a billion years. Uh, Whitaker's presence of Matt Smith has briefly entertained the idea of hopping back in the title for a fucking anniversary special win since his exit in 2013. Uh, he had one caveat when Smith took uh, uh, took on the role of the Doctor uh, in Doctor Who se uh, season five, new new series. Oh, okay, fine. In the revived series, I think we'll call it. Uh, he had seemingly the impossible of replacing David Tennant and did it with a plum because he was brilliant. Uh, one of the most beloved doctors in history, showrunner uh, Stephen Moffat allowed the young man to find his footing from 2010-2014. Smith says is one of the uh, freshest and most fun time lords to date. 100% good agree, and it's so authentically Doctor Who, right? He regularly listed the top three Doctors of all time, included by Rotten Tomatoes. Fine. But will Smith actually come back? It turns out his one caveat may already be met, meaning uh, uh, the chance of his returning uh, could be uh, could be higher than ever. Okay. Uh, Smith would return if timing worked out. In 2017, uh, Smith described how he, how he uh, would enjoy stepping back into the Doctor universe, but ultimately wanted Jodie Whittaker to take the chance to embody the role. He could still do Big Finish, mate. Um... So he had just taken over from uh, 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 from uh, for Smith's replacement, Capaldi, and it wouldn't be fair for Smith to come back before giving Whitaker the opportunity to really sink, sink a teeth in her. You are not, nobody was asking, mate. I think only big finish. Uh, I think uh, uh, give it a few years to uh, Miss, uh, Miss Whitaker to get the TARDIS under the belt, as it were. And yeah, one day uh, he told MC promoting the crowd. Oh, for God's sake, this is this is an article on nothing. Uh, fast forward to December 2021 when Whitaker is, is getting into the part and Smith has already uh, has now uh, the opening he needs I'll, uh, I'll come back he explains uh, uh, he explained to MTV yeah if the time was right not permanently you dingalings oh man how do I get rid of these things not permanently for a one off or a big finish uh, it's been hit that Smith could return at some point with the former Doctor Who showrunner Stephen Moffat uh, previously saying the British actor uh, regretted leaving the series uh, previously announced him like blah, blah 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 so the only way the only way uh, 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 he's coming back is if uh, if it's if it's a movie right or if it's a like in a major way if they move it to change, move it to movies might be what they want to do right might be what they want to do uh, he's got he does have some you know Hollywood clout, especially in Karen Gillan. Again, uh, I think uh, Arthur Darwin as well. I think they would do very well, right? I think that would do very well. Um, they'll be stepping down following a trio of special coming in. Epic blockbuster where in 2022 as part of a BBC Centenary celebrations, which is probably going to be 
Yes, the height of embarrassment. So there you go. A little bit of news. A little bit of news of, of, of what's going down. What's going down in Doctor Who Town. Oh, look. One last thing I'll share with you because this looks freaking awesome. Um, how do we get rid of it? Except, we accept everything. This new book from Andrew Skinner, the 30 bucks. Exterminate. All his Dalek artwork. Freaking gorgeous. Like, just freaking gorgeous. Look at this stuff. Um, look, a lot of these are commissions that have ne never been seen before. Um, really nice work. Go, go, go to his website, which is... Uh, we'll go to it now. Let's see, let's see what it is. It's uh, andrewskeleton.com. Andrewskeleton.com. Go get it now. Uh, 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 I don't get get any money for that. I don't get I don't get any kickback for that. It just looks cool. Okay, it just looks pretty darn good. My name's Ethan Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.